Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that I've got for you tonight is going to make you smile ear to ear. I can almost hear the joy coming from you guys right now because Chris Murphy, yeah, he got fact-checked on that whole the Senate Bipartisan Safe Communities Act, the gun control law that we passed, saved all of these lives and responsible for the violence uh, drop that we've seen. Yeah, he got fact-checked, and I can't wait to hear what you guys think about this one. Write down in the comments field, because I know you're going to love it. And, of course, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. And the content today is brought to you by Wooks. Now, Wooks sent me this stock for one of my 22s. Now, specifically, this is a stock. This is not a firearm. So this is an accessory. Wooks is an outdoor gear company headquartered in Hickory, North Carolina. Wooks is the wild child of Manelli Group, an Italian company started in 1937 and today is considered one of the finest wood machining companies in the world. Wooks products are designed to perform using raw natural materials, superior technology through the supply chain and manufacturing and materials sourced in a responsible and sustainable manner for the good of the planet. Distinctive timeless designs, absolute superior craftsmanship and real wood, wood not composite material. And because you guys are my audience, you get a 10% discount if you check it out with the link in the description box, and that's Langley Outdoor 10. It's on the screen. It's in the description box, and thank you to them for making this content possible. <clears throat> All right, my beautiful people, it's time. That moment has arrived. We get to look at Chris Murphy, gun control in the Senate, Mr. Gun Control in the Senate, getting fact-checked with his BS. All right, let's get it. Democratic lawmaker made claim about the effect of gun law. fact check. PolitiFact, the U.S. homicide rate has dropped, but Democratic Senator Chris Murphy overstates the impact of the measure. Now, I've been railing on this forever, but he basically came out and said, see, gun control is the only solution because the Safer Communities Act, the Senate bipartisan, whatever, that saved everything. That was responsible for all the gun crime that just evaporated out of nowhere when we told you it was going to happen because of a uh, pandemic spike. But other than that... More gun ownership is going up. Crime is going down. But no, no, no. Chris wants you to think that it's his gun control law, the same one that he decried and said it wasn't good enough and a good first step. And now it's all of a sudden the greatest thing in the world. Yeah, he got fact-checked. That guy. All right. Check this out. President Joe Biden's allies are countering claims that his age is hurting his ability to govern. Senator Chris Murphy said the president's acuity helped create a law that cut deadly gun violence. Quote, I worked with Biden on the bipartisan gun deal. He was involved in every step of that process, Murphy, Democratic Connecticut, said on February 11th on CBS Face the Nation. And what has happened since we passed that bill? A 12% reduction in urban homicides in this country. Now, everybody knows that that didn't do anything. That did not contribute to that. Now, he doesn't want to say that because they want to find some way to say, well, it's it's obviously the gun control bill that we passed because it can't be that there's no more gun control and gun violence went down. That's not possible. So it's got to be the thing that we passed. Yeah. Oh, it's something. I'm going to show you here in a second, but let me keep going because, again, he got fact-checked. <clears throat> Murphy is referring to the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act that Biden signed into law in June 2022 after mass shootings in Buffalo, New York, and Uvalde, Texas. The legislation combined gun safety provisions with mental health and school security resources and marked the first gun control measure from Congress in nearly three decades. And that's his whole point. His whole point was, look what we did. Biden's amazing. I'm amazing. We're great. Thanks, John Cornyn. You made it happen. Republican Texas. But that's what they're doing. And then when <clears throat> nothing happened because of it and then gun violence went down, they were immediately quick to say, it's obviously what we did. Even though two days before the New Year started and the numbers came out, it was gun violence is the worst thing ever. We should have no gun rights. But, you know, don't let facts get in the way. Let me show you what a guy, a data analyst, said. Jeff Asher, a crime data analyst and co-founder of AH Datalytics, estimated that homicides in 2023 were down around 12% compared with 2022 in 211 cities with available data. 71% of the cities evaluated saw a decline. 71%. Yeah, again, I'm going to show you some graphs in a second. If the projected deadline bears out on the FBI data... Asher said it would represent one of the largest, if not the largest, single-year homicide drops since U.S. crime record-keeping began. This is the key. They can't admit they didn't get any gun control and the number went down dramatically because then it would undermine the idea of gun control. So they've got to say, look what we did. This is amazing. And that's why he's getting fact-checked. In fact, let me add a little bit to this. Right here, up until 2021, this is the actual graph of increasing Nick's background checks for gun purchases 
in the United States. It's not going downward. That's what you call going upward. That is a graphical representation of an incline. Then, at the exact same time frame, there's the reported violent crime in the United States from 1990 to 2020 to 2022. Do you see it <clears throat> going down? That's the inverse of the gun ownership request. So gun ownership is going upward, gun crime or violent data is going or violent crime is going downward. That seems to suggest a correlation, especially when you've got a 20 year time span. Chris is over here talking about six months. Mm -mm, ain't gonna work, boo. And that's why he got fact checked, and we're getting to the payoff here in a second. These declines come with a huge caveat, and this is something we've said. They represent drops from big COVID-19 era violent crime sp uh, spikes in 2020 and 2021. Overall, preliminary data shows the United States 2023 homicide rate is expected to be about 18% higher than it was in 2019. Tremendous spike in the pandemic, and it's leveling off and still declining. It's going to go back to the average. It's going to revert back to the mean, as all of these things do. Next year, you're going to see another decrease because it's going back to normal. They can't say that. In fact, while we were talking about all the gun control that they were citing, during the pandemic, they tried to use that emergency as a reason for more people being more violent, so therefore you need to have less gun rights. Well, it failed. They didn't get their gun control that they tried and they wanted. So if gun violence is going down without gun control and the absence of more gun control, it kind of undermines their entire point. That's the entire auspices of this video. Now, here's the last thing. Well, two last things. Criminologists said the law likely helped drive down the figures in 2023, but they added that the drop likely relates to a confluence of factors, including the easing of the pandemic's social disruptions and the way cities responded to homicide um, spikes and the payoff. Murphy's claim is partly accurate, but leaves out important information. We rate it half true. So on his big talking point headline point to support Biden, he's omitting key facts and making himself look greater by in, by uh, inflating pieces of the uh, presentation. <clears throat> Don't know what to tell you. And that's what I've got for you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.